How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new category of equipment here in Farming Simulator 22 that was not available in Farming Simulator 19. And what is it going to be? It's going to be a spader. Spaders are going to be found in tools and it's going to be in the third row down in the fourth column. So with base game, you're going to have three options. They're all going to be by Farmax. You're going to have the KRG250, the DRP300 Perfect, and the Rapid 450 Trail Lead. We've decided to go ahead and pick up this one right here, the Trail Lead. As you can see, there's no customization to it. It's going to be 4.5 meters wide. It takes 200 horsepower, but it's only 4 miles an hour. So at first glance here, it kind of looks like it's a, a power hero, but all these big wheels on the back... I'm not quite sure if it's going to give us a different texture or anything like that. So what we're going to do, we are going to compare it to a plow and to a subsoiler. We've got a couple of them out on the field. Let's go take a look. All right. So like I said, we've got a regular plow sitting right here. And right here we have a subsoiler. So let's go ahead and jump into this tractor here, the first one, and see exactly what it's going to need. Here we are on the edge of the field. And as you can see in the menu, what we're going to have to do is lower it down. And then we need to turn it on. So we should start seeing an animation. There we go. And as we start to pull forward, it dropped down in. We're right on the edge here. Ooh, it's a really, really interesting. It doesn't look like it's plowed at all. So here's what the field looks like after I did a few more passes. As you can see, we've got a few smaller stones in the field here. And the reason I was wanting to compare this to a plow is because in the description, it says this. A spader prepares fields for the next sowing. It can be used instead of a plow. So that was very, very interesting to me because... I was thinking it was going to dig down a little bit deeper. And we know with the dirt here, the deeper down you dig, it's going to prevent like your weeds and things like that from coming back a little bit sooner. I don't know if it's going to have any effect on yield at all, but you're going to have to come back and pick up some rocks. And if you use the spader, there's not too many rocks that you're going to have to pick up. So it might be an advantage. And we also know that rolling is a thing now too. So we're going to be taking a look at those in later videos. So come on back. We're going to show you all the details about that. But right now, this is really, really interesting because it's it's like you can plow, but it gives you a cultivated status. But let's go ahead and take a look at the plow and compare, and then we'll grab the subsoiler too. All right, so we got done with the plow, and this is what the field looks like right here. And it's definitely a different texture. You can see right here, this is more of like a cultivated state. And this right here is a definitely plowed state. Now, there's not a whole lot of rocks here too, not big stuff. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of experience with the rocks. We're going to go to another field and check that out after this to see, because this field right here doesn't actually need a plow status. So I'm going to check that out really quick and see if a plowed status is needed to get the bigger rocks. And right here was a subsoiler. Whenever I lowered it down, it actually said lower cultivator. So it's in subsoilers. The description says that it can work like a plow, but it's absolutely not doing it i'm not sure why we went and got a different one and it's perfectly fine so this is a subsoiler right here and it threw down a like cultivated status status because it said the same thing that it was a cultivator and the only pile of rocks i have is right here so i want to take these three pieces of equipment over to another field really quickly that has a need for a plowed status and see if we get anything different over there for rocks so I came over here to a field that actually needed a plowed status. And as you can see, yeah, we are getting some big rocks right here. So that's when it matters. So if you're going to use this machine after a root crop or after corn, something like that, then you are definitely going to be getting some big rocks in the ground here. It's going to give you the exact same status as a plow would, but you're getting like a cultivated status. So it's really, really interesting. Um, I would almost think that you would need to come back with a cultivator after this. But like I said, we're going to be testing a bunch of stuff here in the future. I just wanted to introduce this to you guys. It's a really, really interesting piece of equipment. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on everything happening here on Farming Simulator 22, especially for console, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.